is hot and heaven is sweet. In order to get to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. How to get to hell? Just reject Jesus Christ. I advise you not to reject Jesus Christ. But God, our Creator, we're not monkey men. We're not product of a great big bang. We are a creation made by a Creator. Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You, as a human, you have a living soul. And death does not end it. In the Bible, there is an afterlife. There is a heaven through Jesus Christ. And there is a hell without Jesus. And nothing else. And God, your creator, saw your state, your sin. That if death was it, why would God leave his throne to be born in a stable and to suffer and die upon Calvary's tree and be buried? And three days and three nights to be resurrected from the dead. If death was it, why would God go through the pain and the suffering, the humiliation and death? If there isn't eternal life, and that one of the choices of eternal life is eternal damnation. It's a place of hell. It's a place of torment. And God is not willing that any should perish. He wants you to come to heaven. He has made it simple. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That thou shalt believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. As I talked with the Christian brother just now, saved from what? We're not talking about the salvation of the government. We're not talking about saving of trials and tribulation and bankruptcy. We're not talking about a salvation from taxes. We're talking about the salvation of your soul. That God, your creator, the very means of him suffering and dying according to the scriptures, is that you are a sinner, you are going to die, and God does not want you to go into a place of torment. That all he wants you to do is put faith and trust in Jesus to be saved. Hell is so hot, hell is so tormentful, it took Jesus to leave his throne and to seek that which is lost, that you might be saved. And there is no purgatory, there is no reincarnation. There is heaven through Jesus Christ alone. And there is hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. A wonderful, great God that we have, the Creator, 
is also our Savior. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus. God, your creator, can be your Savior. If only you believe. The love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That life is in Jesus. And Jesus Christ alone. For God so loved, there's the love that he gave, that's charity. And he gave us his love and his charity, which is Jesus Christ. He didn't give us a church. A church is a body of believers that have put their faith in Jesus. There are no unbelievers in the church. And the rapture will prove that, and death will prove that. You can have somebody go to church and die in church and in unbelief. And in church and die and wake up in hell. In church. Because church is not the salvation. Church is not even the building. It is a body of believers that put their faith in Jesus. You say, well, preacher, I have not believed on Jesus. What am I in? You're in a wreck. You're not in a church. You're in a wreck. Life begins at Calvary. And when you reject the life at Calvary, you're in condemnation. Because without Jesus, your eternal life is hell. And by faith in Jesus, your eternal life will be heaven. And you only get to heaven by Jesus who said, He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no access to God the Father outside of Jesus Christ. It is damnation and, not, and condemnation to the rejection of Jesus. It is by the blood of Jesus Christ a person can be saved. And no blood and no salvation. Listen, the church did not die on Calvary for you. Mary didn't die on the cross for you. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that is life. That is the way to heaven. And that to get the peace of heaven is through the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That there is no salvation and no hope without Jesus.
and that God, our Father, God, our Creator, saw the great need of our souls, that He left His heavenly throne and went to Calvary's cross. He came to seek that which is lost. And you look at God and say, nope. God, you're not good enough. You're not good enough, God, when you say no to Jesus. When you reject Jesus, you are telling God, not good enough. I got something better. 